guys welcome back how are you guys how are you doing how was your thanksgiving leave me comments down below on how your holiday went so if this is your first time here thank you for watching my name is eliza and welcome to my channel okay so i'm gonna do a first on my channel today you guys um i'm gonna do a tutorial and it's gonna be on a look that I've tried a few times just like practicing and stuff it's not difficult at all like well not for me anyways and I hope it won't be difficult for you guys to do but um if you see me like look down it's because I have a mirror here just so I can see what I'm doing as well and if you see me go this way it's because I have another mirror here so just you know how it goes <laughs> gotta have mirrors everywhere okay so I'm going to be, I've already, as you can see, I've already done my, like my base, like I have my foundation on, I have all my primers on my eyes done, I got my contacts in, um, and everything else, I'm, I'm going to do it with you guys. So, so, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is like, I have like all my brushes and stuff like that out here. I'm going to be using the Bling Boss palette by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. Oh, well, this is what the palette looks like. It's so gorgeous this is actually one of my favorite ones from the vault collection I have not and I can't even say it's like my favorite yet because I haven't played with all of them yet but I've used this one a, a few times and I've used arm and gorgeous and I like that one too the other two I haven't like touched or play with yet but so yeah so I'm gonna go in with this palette today you guys and I'm gonna I I'll tell you the reason why I love this palette is because um, I'm going to be true for the formula. Like, it's not because Jaclyn Hill's name is attached to it. I am a big fan of Morphe. I love their products. Their products for me are amazing. I've never had any issues with it. And you've heard me say that time and time again on my channel. But the reason why I love this palette is because, number one, I'm completely in love with Rockstar. Like, Rockstar is just like this perfect cranberry and it's so pigmented you actually kind of just have to go in like a little by little I'll, I'll just show you and you'll get what I'm talking about but yeah just the formula and this purple you guys is just like so buttery it's not a chunky glittery purple where it's just like it's falling off and it hardly has any fallout either so I'm just like wow like this palette just really has my heart so let's dive right in so the first thing I'm not like I primed my eyes already so I'm not even gonna put like I usually with the with the look I'm gonna do today I usually don't put a transition color down or like a base color down so I just have my eye primer down so the first one I'm going in with is Rockstar because I'm gonna use this like on top of my crease base and I'm going to go in with the Morphe M433. So I'm just going to like literally you guys like like I'm dabbing and then just tapping. And it just like the pigment is just so much. So I'm going to just like I dabbed it already and then I tapped it. And then I'm just going to go in like right above the crease. Like do you already see that pigment you guys? Like and I really didn't even put my brush into the color that much like it's just I can't like I'm so in love with this color it is ridiculous if I would have to pick a favorite color out of the whole vault collection it would be Rockstar like it's just so yummy it's just it screams fall it's for me anyways it screams winter and I absolutely love this color all right you guys and trust me guys it's gonna look like a hot mess in the beginning but you have to trust the process. I continually like tell myself that because I don't know why. Like, look guys, it's so nervous. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> like again, I was saying you have to trust the process, you guys, because in the very beginning, when you first start a look that you have in mind, it's always gonna look like shit. Sorry for the word. But it's always going to look like crap in the beginning. You just have to be, you know, patient with the process and just work at it. And when they tell you to blend your eyeshadow, you guys, you have to blend that witch out. Like, it is no joke. 
If you think you're done blending, blend a little more until your wrist cracks and then keep going. It is, it is legit like that. All right, you guys. And then I'm just going to go in with, um, what is this? The Morphe M441. It's, it's almost similar. It's just, it has, it's a little more fluffier and it's a little more like tapered on top. And it has no additional product on it. So I just want to like buff this out and bring it up a little bit until it's like completely blended out. Hope you guys see that. I noticed like the more I play with makeup, the more I get in tuned with like how my face is, with how like my actual face and my features are designed like you see that and this is not the eyeshadow there's this thing that happens with my eyes where my skin creases it and then I have to like buff it out I have to like you know what that is that's just age you guys like my skin <laughs> my skin is getting old this is so bad I literally like have to stretch this out so it doesn't get the crease in there so I'm just going to go and you know, you already know the deal, the back and forth windshield wiper motion, get it all in there. I also noticed that for some reason like this eye will grab more pigment than this one. Sometimes it happens the opposite way and I'm just like, oh, are you serious? Okay. So I'm still working with, now I'm, yeah, I'm still working with Rockstar on my M433 brush. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the corner here okay so hey sorry I'm looking at my viewfinder make sure and then you want to do the same thing like I did before just buff this out so you don't have any harsh lines and it's just all blended well so the next color I'm gonna do um I'm gonna, I'm gonna think for a second here because in my the video that I'm gonna link below is um my title on it was I think WTF I'm allergic to Anastasia Beverly Hills and Pat McGrath unfortunately in that video I got a lot of comments in person and you know down below where in my comment box that they had loved the look that I did so I had wanted to cre recreate that for you guys but uh, the colors that I use for like the inner corner part, I'm kind of thinking of just changing it a bit today because what I really want to try, what I really want to try is, um, I want to try putting the purple like all over my lid and then doing a little bit of like a brighter color in the middle, kind of like a halo eye, but not really because I'm not going to do cut crease. That's just going to take way too long. And I'll be honest with you guys with this palette, you really don't need to like cut the crease or anything like that because these colors just come off so good that you can actually use a brush without fix plus or whatever you know a uh, primer water you have and you can also use your finger and it's just like I can't like this palette the colors you guys the shadows literally help you blend themselves out they blend into each other beautifully I really just love this formula in this palette you guys so I'm gonna go in with gem which is that the purple one and I'm you know what we're just gonna do it. I'm gonna throw it all over the lid and then I'm gonna blend it up so I'm just going with a flat brush this is what it looks like so I'm gonna get into the purple this one does have a little fallout just because, you know, there's glitter in it. But the thing that I like, just tap off the excess, you guys, it's not a big deal. The thing that I like about this this shimmer purple is that it's not chunky. It's not gritty. You don't get a lot of, a lot of fallout with it. And as you can see with Rockstar, I got no fallout whatsoever. Like, I just, I'm, I cannot tell you how much I am in love with Rockstar. It's ridiculous, you guys. So... I want to block you guys so I'm just gonna bring it all over from the inner corner to outer I just gotta be careful because I have contacts on flip tap go back in get 
in there. I usually, I know if, if you follow me, you guys, on my channel, you know, when I have eyeshadow on, I really don't use, um, I really don't use eyeliner or like the winged eye. I'm still trying to perfect my wing. Oh, I'm going to go in on the other side with the what the purple what is it it's called gem okay get it together Liza sorry you guys I'm just so nervous to be doing this for you guys I'm excited though so just be ready I'm gonna try to do at least like six videos next month as of right now I'm doing like one a week but since it's like the holiday season and it just it gets me excited to do stuff I just I want to do more on my channel for you guys and just grow you know See, and literally, you guys, I have I have no fallout underneath, like none whatsoever. It's just, oh, I die, you guys. Seriously, this palette is just insane. I love it. I I really don't use a liner on shadow, you guys, just because I love showcasing the work that I do with eyeshadow. Like I feel like sometimes when you go in with a winged liner, or yeah, that's looking a little. When you go in with like a wing liner, you guys, you kind of just, if it gets too out of hand and it's a big wing, you can kind of just take the glory away from the work that you did with the eyeshadow. Sometimes I feel like just doing a, an amazing look with eyeshadows on your eyes, like that's all you need. And it just, it just comes out amazing. If obviously if you practice and you know what you're doing, so getting in there and then I'm just gonna blend this out into each other you guys all right you guys so that's what it's looking like right now I actually like this color I kind of like just want to leave it like that it's so pretty I like it you know what guys we're gonna leave it like that okay so what I want to do on the bottom oh how about if we go in with pizzazz on the bottom yeah I have not tried that yet you guys, I'm literally like doing this like completely different from my video, but we're going to go with it because I'm really liking this look. Okay, so let's go in with pizzazz on the bottom lash, on the bottom eyelid. Okay, I'm going to set this down. I'm going to bring this mirror up just because I don't want to like poke my eye out. I hope you guys see what I'm doing. So I'm just taking like a flat angled brush. This is also by Morphe. It's the B11. I would try to put the names like on the corners and stuff for you. And then I'm just going to like align it on the bottom. I'm not going to do it in the actual water line. I'm going to do it on my lash line. And you're just going to line it like a, uh, like a liner. Oh, I like that. And just go in. Okay, that's what it looks like. I'm not going to like smoke it out or anything. It's just like a tight eyelash line. One more. Just bring it all the way in to the inner corner. Oh, you guys, I just want to throw it out there. So remember when I went to Miami to visit my best friend slash like my, my sister, basically. We grew up together. Our moms were best friends. To this day, we're still best friends and sisters. Um, and I took that trip down there with my mom to visit them in August. And I put up three parts of that trip so far on my channel. But I just want to give you a heads up that part four, which is the final part, is coming soon, you guys. I'm working on it. And... It might just be a little surprise in it for you. So, let's finish up this eye, you guys. You guys, I'm liking this. Like, that's it. Look, all done, okay? So, what we're going to do next is I'm going to finish off the face. And you can actually get this on its own. Like, if you just want this palette, Ulta has it. And I believe Morphe does too. Yeah, it does. By them, they should. But I know they usually sell out quicker on, on the Morphe site than at Ulta. But you, if you just want this one, you guys, I, I just... If you want to, like, gift it or buy it for yourself, I recommend this palette, you guys. It is just... It's amazing. 
that's all I can say. It is just a great formula. It works. So, okay. Next thing I'm going to do, since I got everything done, my eyebrows are pretty good. I'm going to go in with some blush. I'm going to use, I got my, my, my setting powder by Laura Mercier. I, I didn't even need to use it, you guys. Like, it's just insanity. So, I'm just going to buff out anything real quick. Uh, use my foundation brush. smooth everything out and then I'm gonna go in with I got this gold rush by benefit it's warm golden nectar blush and it looks like this and you just flip it open this is the color it's like a peachy gold blush you guys it smells amazing and it just gives you like that hint of peachy glowiness on the cheeks and it just, oh, it blends in so good. I love this blush, you guys. So do that. Okay, and then we're going to go in with, I'm going to use this Ofra highlighter. Now, this is the first highlighter I've ever bought by Ofra. They recently did new packaging on their stuff, and it looks pretty, and I already got it dirty. Ugh, figures. But this one is called Rodeo, and I think it's like one of their best sell seller hi selling highlighters. Um, but yeah, this I've like swatched it, and I haven't used it. This is going to be the first time using it, so I'm excited because I heard this one is just like their highlighters are amazing. Oh, wow. There is, hold on, let me, okay. Ooh! Dang! I didn't know it was like that, Ofra. Holy, wow, you guys, that's so pretty. Do you see that? Channel puedo. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, let's get it on the other side. Oh, wow. You guys, that is just stunning. I forgot my setting spray. Just thought about it. Forgot my setting spray, of course. You guys, look at that. Oh my gosh. Put some on my nose. And then just tap it in. Wow, you guys, that is just what? Mm hmm. I like that. Woo! Okay. Last but not least, you guys, since I forgot my setting spray. That would be the last thing, but lipstick. Oh, no, wait, and I got to do mascara. Okay, so I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Buff lipstick. It is a matte finish lipstick. It is absolutely one of my favorites. As you can see, I'm almost done with it, so it's going to go in my empties bin because in December, I'm going to do an empties video and show you all the stuff that I have gone through most of the year like it, they're empty completely finished and I'll let you know if I'm gonna buy it again or if I'm not going to purchase it ever again so I'm gonna go in with this let's use this this closer okay done with that and then last but not least let's do some mascara hopefully I don't poke myself out Hook my eyeballs out. You guys, I'm excited for December to be doing more stuff like this for you guys on my channel. If there's anything that you want me to, again, you know, try or attempt to do, please leave me comments down below. If you like this tutorial and you're thinking about purchasing this palette, Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with someone that you think it will benefit or help. And we could just grow and learn together, you guys. You guys, I really like how this look came out. This was completely different from the video that I linked down below. And as you can see, you guys, like the purple, I didn't even have to blend it all that much. All right, you guys, I'm going to wrap up because I think my battery is like dying or whatever. But so, yeah, I will link all my stuff that I use down below for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you love 
the look that I came up with and showed you guys today. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and follow me on Instagram and like tag me in makeup stuff. I love it. Like just tag me in anything that you find makeup wise. I love you guys. I so appreciate you guys watching today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.